Good morning, this is Joe Hackman with ManagedSolutions.com and I'm going to go ahead and review this week's U.S. CERT cyber alerts here and these are basically a list of vulnerabilities that came up last week. So I noticed at the top of the list this week again we have an Adobe product, we have the Shockwave player and there is a uh, component to allow arbitrary code to be executed so that's bad news. Um, basically I these um, these updates should be available through the Adobe website. Here's the bulletin at Adobe so you can learn more about it there and learn what you need to do. I will most likely include uh, some resources at the at my website in uh, conjunction with this screencast. So if you're curious about that you can just go to managesolutions.com and look for this uh, US cert. And let's see what else do we have on the list here. It looks like most of these are all, this, these are probably all related to the same. There's a couple of Mac OS X servers. We don't really do a lot with Macs here, but you might want to take a look at that if you're, uh, if you're involved or if you have any OS X servers in your enterprise. Cisco iOS, uh, looks like this one could cause a DOS or denial of service. Here's a level 10 so that could actually allow people to get into uh, into the system. Could it allow people to actually hack the system? So if you're using any Cisco Internet Work performance monitor type tools you might want to take a look at that one. There's often a bunch of um, you know, different PHP libraries for open source platforms in here. There's not too many this week. Looks like uh, there's a HP power manager. So you kind of understand as you look through these lists and as we process this stuff why IT people tend to want to standardize and have a limited number of products and platforms available because basically then it means that we don't have to go back and carefully read every single one of these. Um, we want to be able to eliminate it and say okay do I need do I need to address this? No, I don't have that in, in my client base or I don't have that at my site and make that distinction and move on. So it looks like there's some Internet Explorer ones that might be worth taking a look at. There was some pretty high profile issues last week with that and the last couple of weeks with the Google exploits and the Google hack. Some PHP at my admin, that's kind of a big deal. Um, there's unknown impact on that, but if you, uh, if you use PHP My Admin, and a lot of people do, uh, you might want to take a look at that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it off there, but uh, obviously we want to try to address these uh, the ones that are the, the biggest threat to the average user, and that's the Adobe Shockwave uh, player. I, I may just do a separate write-up on that. It should be available at managesolutions.com shortly, and uh, we'll continue to to try to analyze these every week and give people a heads up what to look out for. Hope you found this helpful. If you want to learn more, go to managesolutions.com. Thank you.